Good morning, everyone. I'm coming live from Nashville, Tennessee, where we are currently under freeze warning because it's like our second or third winter at this point. Um, thankfully, there is no snow on the ground yet. Um, I got a new game on Steam. I have actually been playing it pretty constantly while I haven't been streaming. So, um, yeah, I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, and this is Graveyard Keeper. Um, some of my friends have been, have, have described this as, um, Necromantic Stardew Valley, which I don't disagree with. Uh, but for those of you who, with, it's all very pixelated. It's not like super gross or anything, but like there is dissecting of bodies in here. And by dissecting, I mean you want to extract this from the body. Okay, hold down this button and there's like a picture of an anatomically correct heart or like intestines or something. No, nothing like super gross, but be warned. Um, but I am going to start a new game with you guys so you can get the full effect. This is my save. Um, it took me a very long time to figure out how the game worked because either I didn't read enough of the tutorials or something. Uh, but like in full um, disclosure, it took me six hours in real time to figure out how to actually get water out of a bucket. So we start with an ordinary day. Our hero's hurrying home. I can't speak that fast. Even in everyday routine, there's a place for loving and feeling loved. Especially when you know that someone misses you. And so it looks like we're heading home. Got holding my phone. Got a somebody calling me. And then I get hit by a car. And I'm talking to a guy in black. A man in black. Man, man in black. Just... Doesn't stay away. He's telling me a whole new chapter awaits at me ahead now. Uh, and I just want to go home, which I feel. Uh, there's always a way to get home. Very mysterious. My new home is a graveyard. Does that mean I'm dead? And then that's kind of what it sounds like. But now I'm a graveyard keeper, so I'm not technically dead, I guess. Um, I need to go home to my love. And the answer to that, the solution to get back home is to be a good graveyard keeper. I should dig up Jerry. He'll help me sort everything out. Who? <laughs> okay, I've woken up in a peasant's house. In, you know, approximately feudal Europe, I guess. Oh, look, there's a grave right here. Also, how's everybody doing this morning? Ooh, Jerry the skull, hopping up and down. A man with a red eye told me that I needed to dig up Jerry. <laughs> what is this sard, though? I'm so concerned. I, I don't know who I am. I'm a person who got hit by a car while trying to go home. Now I'm here. Oh, that's the dead body bell. Oh, goodness. The footprints in the mud. I definitely remember that bell on a donkey. Uh. Hi, donkey dude. 
got a fresh corpse, fr corpse from the town, which is different from the village. That took me a while to figure out. The donkey talks. <laughs> you can understand me? Yes, I can understand you, donkey. And I know you're a butthole. Donkey does not like capitalists. And only earns five days a day. Five carrots a day. Uh, comrade, really? Huh? Mm. Um. He brought me a body. Hey, stop dragging the body. Jerry doesn't have the same ring to it as Yorick. I don't think I know that reference. I'm sorry. Grab the juicy corpse while it's still fresh. That is disturbing. We're going to the morgue. I like this place. It feels like home. <laughs> I wonder if I can make another Jerry. Oh. Mean skull. Hamlet's... Yorick is Hamlet's skull? I see. Talking skulls never lie. But Jerry fits the alcoholic skull pretty well, I think. But I don't... I do... Hmm... I love that I can extract the flesh and then make burgers out of it. Yes, yes it is disgusting, graveyard keeper. Bury it, let's bury the corpse. And, and the skull just teleports. Man, why can't you teach me that? Like, that would be useful so it doesn't take the entire day to go to the lighthouse. Okay. Let's bury it. There's a, oh, there's a shovel following me around. Um, I'm gonna put you there. Uh, and I got a burial certificate. money alcohol hmm I'm pretty sure I used to like that a lot yeah you still like it Jerry oh here's the bishop um sweetheart bishop hmm I don't think so oh and they've been waiting for a new graveyard keeper for 30 years? Do they just appear? Like... What? And no, I didn't figure out the answers to these questions I'm asking in my other playthrough. I'm not finished. I'm nowhere near finished. Cool. Okay, I can become a cleric. D&D class. Uh... If I have five prettiness in my... Part of his, the bishop's duty, the unpleasant part. It's kind of an old tradition. Very old if it's been 30 years since you had a graveyard keeper. You're just here to represent his might and glory, huh? Yeah. What is this burial certificate? As soon as a body has been laid to rest, you can trade its burial certificate for money at the village tavern. How can I fix the graveyard? Repair all the graves. It wouldn't take you even an hour, but it's your job. I think it would take you a while. 
Yes, I will run out of them. Because there's only so much I can do. So, as you can see, I have negative 29 prettiness in my uh, graveyard. So, what is, is an arrow? It's telling me to go to town. I forgot it tells me to go to town. Off to town we go. Uh, for the record, this game uses like a six day week. Um, and I don't actually know what the days are supposed to sound like. So, you know, the day this bishop comes is I call Sunday because it's got a sun. And then we'll have moon day, which I assume is like a Saturday. And then I say this is guy day instead of Friday. Um, the other three kind of don't really know. Okay. This guy, he writes poetry. And he's hopelessly in love with the um, female bard who comes here. This, I don't know who this is. I haven't been able to talk to him. He tells me to go away. This is Miss Chain. She is the tavern keeper's wife. Or Adric, that's his name. Uh, this game has so... This is such a patriarchal society that this game is based in. Like, there's like... Three women. And they're all somebody's wife. Ulu, ulu, ulu. Ulu. They each have different voices if you care to listen to the ulu, ulu, ulu. I have to fix the graveyard before I open the church. I'd like to trade you some fresh meat, guys. I just need to see the royal meat stamp on it. Hmm. Yeah. Inappropriate meat. Gosh, why would- I would never do that. No. She comes here every, I'm going to call that like Monday, Tuesday. There is an ancient contract that says that I have to get money for my burial certificate. So I'm going to. Give him that barrel certificate and get one silver and 50 copper. I will frequently call the silver gold because D&D. &D. So if you hear me saying gold, I probably just mean silver. Here's the blacksmith. Unfortunately, I'm the local blacksmith. He doesn't sound very happy to be here. Slimes again. Yay, slimes. I hate the combat in this game. Yes, I can kill your slimes. 
Cool. I'm gonna fix this sword and then use it to smashy smash some frickin' slimes. There we go. I'm a little hurt, but that's okay. Okay, so I have not played this without any DLC. Okay, interesting. Why did you want to talk to me if that's all you were going to tell me? That they might eat human flesh. I'm glad I want to sell them human flesh. Okay, nice, nice to talk to you about your brother, Sir Cory. This isn't sustainable. Tress, hey Tress, I'm the graveyard keeper. Oh yeah, they are definitely brothers. What's the first clue? Good morning. I went to Starbucks this morning, really early. And I got their strawberry acai refresher with lemonade. And it is good and I am happy. It's also very cold. <laughs> I forgot to tell them light ice. There's a lot of ice. Back to my house we go. Ah! Frickin' Jerry hiding in the bushes in the dark? Everybody's just okay with me appearing out of nowhere. Yeah. There's a cellar in my cottage. There might be provisions down there. Oh. And uh, thank you for giving me all these recipes. Ooh. Oh, okay. Well, this is going to be a garden at some point. Uh, I have to buy the land. Well, I have to start trading with the merchant for my land. Even though it's right there. So. Cellar, down to the cellar. Man, this is... Somebody did not clean their cellar before they died. There's Snake. He reminds me of the vampire, of the master from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> if I talk about Buffy the Vampire Slayer a lot, it's because I I started watching it like a few months ago, rewatching it a month, a few months ago. I have them. I have all the seasons on DVD. Ah! Okay, that's something I didn't figure out the last time. Well, I'm gonna put this down here. I'm gonna start cleaning up this place. Jerry, the alcoholic skull, has asked for his beer. Make 
actually. <laughs> I'll go to bed for a bit. How's everyone doing? It's... I hope everybody is either... Let's think. Let's see. Let's think of time zones. Relaxing for the evening or waking up in the morning. Uh, there's a ghost. There, there's a ghost in my bedroom. Hey, hey, here's Yorick. Book knave. Book knave. Here's Yorick. It's a ghost. So lonely, poor, poor me. It's too bad you're here. Wait, no, on the contrary, I'm very glad to see you. Make up your mind, Yorick. But we do have a rather unpleasant buried, fe unpleasant fellow buried here. We'd really like to have a new neighbor instead. Sound like something you can help us with? Not sure why I'm here. Actually, Jerry only told me about burying bodies. You're Yorick, and he's Jerry. Funny. Hey. The guy, this guy needs a reference. The half-dead skull, that jealous bastard, haha. -ha. He can only dream of what a peaceful rest we're having. Oh. Who am I kidding? It's terrible down here. Especially that guy down in the lower right corner grave. He's so mean. Just dig him up and throw him- can I throw bodies in the river? Oh, I can I can I I would like to dig up a body, please. I think. Lower right hand corner. Let's go dig up a body and throw him in the river. Sure. What do I have to lose? You seem very, um, mean to poor Yorick. Can I throw? Oh, <gasps> I can! Oh, ho! Oh. I did not know this. Goodbye. Okay. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> what am I doing here? A ghost asked me to get rid of this body. So what, you're now just gonna do what everything you ask? It's not like he can do anything to you, haha, <laughs> he's disembodied. Whereas, Jerry can bite me to death while I'm sleeping. Oh! Oh, interesting. There's my tutorial to the cremation that I never got. Because <laughs> I didn't understand the prompt.
Oh, is the donkey gonna bring me another body today? No, no, it's too late. He will not. It also took me a very long time to figure out what I was supposed to do with these logs. But I figured it out now. There we go. And then I'll clean up my yard a bit and then I'll go to bed. You don't actually have to sleep um, for a little bit anyway. You'll get exhausted eventually, but to begin with, if you have food, you can you can survive. No big. Oh, okay. Yay. So I'm looking to build a furnace and or increase Ooh, what technologies can I research could do sawing or stone working or mining that's going to be more important the thing that gets me to these things to be honest those things are most important glass is also kind of important There we go. Alright. Did you guys know that turtles are omnivores? And that turtles are kind of opportunistic eaters in that they'll, if they find something and they can catch it, they will eat it. <laughs> this may, oh, Yorick, you're back. It's much nicer without him at the graveyard. Ooh, who is he? He's still so sad though. He's so lonely. So bad when I was alive. I should have been a better person. What'd you do, dude? You still deserve some respect, okay? Each corpse is a soul's vessel. If it bears the mark of his life, sins are red skulls and good deeds are white skulls. Man, here's the tutorial I really needed. <laughs> Even the best decorations can't make a graveyard a peaceful place. When it's full of red skulls. Can't do anything. So ah! Here's the tutorial I needed. I spent the... In I spent like 24 hours total playing this game and I did not have this tutorial because I, I didn't realize what he wanted me to do. Corpse gets its red and white skulls from its body parts. You can change a corpse red and white skulls by removing organs and embalming. The main way to increase your graveyard prettiness is to decorate graves with objects that have more prettiness. Each line that has both white skull and prettiness counts as one prettiness. Lines that have skulls, red skulls never count, but you need to fill them with uh, prettiness to reach white skull lines okay see see okay uh yeah that was definitely a um swamp before i fixed it interesting turtles are secretly a species of cat i mean i wouldn't be surprised really wouldn't Can't cut down that tree. Not without technology, apparently. But I can cut down other trees, I think. It's just the dead ones that are special. Turtles are secretly a species of cats. I mean... 
what if turtle i mean i'm sure at some point turtles and cats do share an ancestor but like what if they shared a close ancestor can you imagine how terrifying turtles would be with like cat claws like if turtles could fit just anywhere and they uh you know you know if i fit i sit instead of being restricted by the uh what Jimma calls it what are they called shells those things turtles are also kind of scary in general they'll bite you if they want to which you know considering they do eat meat that kind of makes sense but still trees go back grow back it's fine yes but do they have cat claws yes some turtles do have claws but specifically cat claws they're attracting and piercing owsies Yeah, after playing this for a bit, yes, it's definitely kind of Stardew Valley-esque. Or maybe Stardew Valley is kind of like Gravekeeper-esque? I don't actually know which one came first. Chicken or the egg? They're all chicken flavored, okay? time The donkey still hasn't left me another dead body. Gosh. Um. What can I... Uh, what can I build? I can build... Things! gonna build a sawhorse which can I rotate it no nope okay in that case I'll put you right here and then I'll put you Right here. Oh, so it tells you where it's interactable. That's neat. Things I wish I knew before I spent 24 hours playing a game. Okay. I get to make more of those and... I could make... I need clay for that. Ooh. Can I... Do I have the technology level to get clay out of this hole down here? Nope. Okay. I see. Okay. Okay. It's... 
Wednesday. And for the record, no, I never have any idea of what's going on. That's... Oh! Oh! Yep, definitely didn't. Die. Die, slimes. Die. Is like Loki Day. <laughs> I may just refer to the days by like what happens. So like Sunday is gonna be Sunday anyway. But like today is the day that Snake is supposed to show up after you finally open things up. So it's just gonna be Snake Day. really no purpose to what I'm doing besides collecting things and waiting for Donkey to bring me another dead body. Because, and I guess I'm supposedly getting research points for this as well. So it's not like I'm not getting anything out of this. Because I'm so I want to unlock technology things. might be able to fit one more log. Maybe. Can't remember what the maximum is. I have too much wood. No, I don't. Never have too much wood. <gasps> Dead body! I have no energy! I cannot remove that. Let's take this log back down. And then I'll go collect the dead body and put it in the morgue. Nope, too much, too much wood. Darn. kind of sins have you done, sir? You have done sins. Okay. Well, that's okay. You were gonna get, uh, burned anyway as soon as I <laughs> could do that. <laughs> I have so much iron ore. It's so nice. I'm gonna burn through that real quick. As soon as I... For the morning, once I sleep and get some energy, cause that's always how you get energy, right? Sleep? I think that's how... You're supposed to get energy, not caffeine. But, you know, I don't like to follow the rules. I don't like to read the instructions.
Oh. Okay. I have no recipe for burning things. Or do I get the recipe for burning things? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> I actually don't have caffeine after 5 p.m. It's just, I just can't. Okay, this is a good thing to unlock. Do I have anything else I can unlock after that? I don't think so. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna take this guy's flesh and then I'm going to take his blood and his fat. If I can. And then I can bury him and he will be a happy poo. Well, we'll put him in a grave and see what happens. The Inquisitor. Thanks. Um, thanks for telling me this when I was carrying a dead body. Like, appreciate it, dude. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Let's go talk to this Inquisitor. And since I already have a burial certificate, I go to town, or I'll go to the village, because the town is something different, and I will probably die if I go there. Um, let's go see the Inquisitor, because it's guy day. There was a strange fellow sleeping around. I didn't even talk to you. I was just going back and forth between. T I am. I am affronted. I. We're going to a witch burning ceremony. Sure. Here I am, the Great Inquisitor. I protect the one true faith in humankind itself. Ship of the Dead is already overloaded and there's a new one stuck in the shipyard. I, yep, it is a suspiciously auspicious time. The dark cult is rising. I can feel it. What is this cult? Can I join it? Ah, uh, we've burned thousands of witches and heretics for 30 years. And it's only the beginning. Can I give you my dead bodies to burn? Would you do that for me? Light the fire, we're watching a witch burn. Burn, baby, burn, burn, baby, burn. Long live the great inquisitor, hurrah, hurrah, hurrah. I work with a lot of dead bodies, yes, I do. I, I do live close to the hill. I, I'm... The villagers don't go to church and refuse to lay in their graves after death. Do they rise? Sure, I'll be your friend. I don't want to anger the Inquisition. Every... Okay. Uh, we meet on guy day. Tomorrow's moon day. Once I get the church open, I'll have, I'll, I'll do sermons. I'll have sermons on Sundays. Oh, there's Donkey with a body. Oh, I 
have a beer, it's going straight to my alcoholic skull. Yeah, I wonder if I can use the garden before I do that. Hmm. I'm gonna give the beer to Jerry, and then he'll be happy, and then he'll ask me for wine. Because, you know, Skulls being able to drink beer and wine is fairly normal here, I guess. I mean... I haven't met another talking skull, so... It stands to reason that Jerry sets the standard for all talking skulls, right? I'm gonna stand right here and look at my technologies. Oh, my shovel broke. Sad. I'm sad. It's okay. I have a I have a thing. I can I can fix it. Dead body ahoy. How many sins have you done? Very few, actually. Oh. Well. I messed up the body. Oops. I messed up the body twice. Um. But now I have blood, and fat, and flesh, so, you know, positives? Um, I will burn the body as soon as I can. When do I get that technology? Soon. Okay, simple gravestones. Gonna buy that. And then... <laughs> and then... Oh, neat. Okay. Oh, right. I need to give Jerry his beer. I, I tell him... Every time I say something out loud here, I forget what I'm saying. I forget what I have said, that is. Hold on, no, I just... <sighs> Portal on the Witch Hill? I obviously don't have a brain inside my, you know, talking skull. So I'm not sure where this knowledge is coming from. Okay. Okay, bedtime. Bedtime. Wow. You know, 
maybe some of us do need to go live in a graveyard and be a graveyard keeper. That way we can get better quality sleep. If you're wondering if I said that about you, the answer is yes. I don't even have to know your name, but yes. I want it there, though. <sighs> okay. I guess I won't have it there. Okay. Aha, I don't have seeds. Also, seeds are outrageously expensive. <laughs> like, God. I can make firewood now. Does anyone know what I can do with these sticks though? Because I just tend to collect a bunch of them. Wait. No, I can't. I can't collect. I can't. I have to have a uh, chopping spot. There we go. Not putting it down there. I'll put it there. Okay. Well, I have 20 firewood. There's some iron. Okay. Nope, don't want to give the kitchen the blood. Just want to give the flesh. That's not something I thought I'd ever say. I guess you don't actually have to open the church to get to the church. I guess, technically. That being said, 
if I do open the church, the donkey becomes a communist. Which I think is really hilarious. So what do I want to do? It's Sunday. Um, I don't think I can research cremation yet. No, because I need the five. I need the things from the thing. Um, what are my other quests? Bottle of wine. Talk to the port. Talk to the astrologer. Find a stamp. Talk with the merchant. Okay. Like, nothing I can do right now. I'm supposed to go here. There we go. You know what I can do? I can still go to the lighthouse, even though nobody that I want to talk to is there, and go talk to the fisherman who might give- will give me the quest to make- get a fishing pole. And then I can spend all of my energy trying to fish. Hi, Bishop. Here we go, all the way to the lighthouse. Oh, there's Dig. I forgot about Dig. Dig wants some honey. Do I? I this still doesn't make sense to me. No, Dig, he won't because he can't see. And I'll tell him a sweet lie. The only thing that matter are peace and herbs and nice sweet things. Sweet like honey. Bring me some honey and I'll teach you how to make a cake. Cake is the best. I agree. Cake is the best. I actually don't actually- I actually don't really like cake all that much compared to other sweet things. But who can deny a cake? You gonna- Am I here too early? I thought fishermen got up at the thing at crack of dawn. I'll just mine some rocks in your front yard while I'm waiting on you. There you are. Holy mackerel, boy. I don't really want to be part of the magical world of fishing, but fishing is profitable. Okay, wait. <laughs> oh. How much does it cost for a fishing rod? Two? 
I could get one for free. But it will take me for freaking ever to get that. And I could just buy one. Man, your garden sucks, my dude. Look at it's so overgrown. Look at it. Can, can I can plant your garden? What? I'm gonna clean it up for you. I'm, it's not breaking and entering or trespassing. You like ask me to, just by having your garden this bad. Look at it, it's so bad. really want a plant I just wanted to clean it up <gasps> berries Ooh, what's up here what, what, what's up here oh okay I, I can chop down a tree here nobody will notice it's almost behind the lighthouse Premium sea salt wood. Sea salt treated wood. That's how we'll market it. Oh, very desirable. Very, very desirable. Gives you a taste of the ocean every time you're around it. I also need. Do I have a burial certificate to sell? I do not. Straight back home it is. There you go. What else can I build? I'll need flowers for something. out of energy that's okay I was just using that to get rid of some last bit of energy it is night time and it's gonna be dawn soon
All right, all right, what are we doing? What are we doing today? Um, same old, same old. Here we go. Got one of those, got some of those. Have to get more technology for those other guys. Not what I meant to do. Yeah. I'll go ahead and make some firewood. Which I think requires this. Do 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 do. Oh wow! I ran out of energy just after dawn. Back to bed we go. Does this qualify as a depression nap? <laughs> Starbucks refresher still cold. <laughs> it's almost dusk. I spent the entire day sleeping. to chop down some trees or rather dig up some stumps because I think I need better technology for big trees So much iron. So much. It's shiny and it makes nice noise and clickety clack. Nope, that's part of the landscape and I can't cut that down. Man. Oh, I broke my pickaxe. Oops. Oopsie daisy. Oopsie daisy. And then I'm gonna sleep till noon. After I fix it.
good lord. <laughs> I... Yes, I need this. Actually. Put an anvil. Carpenter's bench. I need more flitch. Which I'm not entirely sure what that is, but I need some. Oh, so this one will let me turn it like this, but the others won't. Okay. I guess I need, I need to go talk to the merchant before I get carried away again. <laughs> Gotta hold myself to my own promises. <laughs> and then we'll be Thor's day. Or it is Thor's day. Or Odin's day. No. Merchant dude, hello. <laughs> I I am an in an onion potato town. Sure. I'll bring you food. Okay. Sure. I'll go find you some hiccup grass. That's what you would like. It's probably not a great idea, but you can. Right, and now I've got to go find a, um, pick up grass. <laughs> okay, what was I doing? Carpenter's bench, so I needed filch, that's what it was. Flitch. Not filch, that's the, uh... That's the caretaker in Harry Potter. Well, I have enough of most things to go ahead and fix things if I would like. I talk to the merchant. I'm back at home. It's dusk. I'm going to bed. I'll wake up around two in the morning because uh, apparently graveyard keepers only need six hours of sleep. If they need sleep at all, because they're kind of dead. Gonna go fix up this graveyard again. It's 
so we can open the church and I can go down to the basement and I can get some research done. Oh, right, I don't have anything. Um. Time to go build some things. I really use a lot of energy. LOL. Oh, well. make five of these. I'm not sure I'll need five, but I have five. <laughs> and I should be able to research something else after I use up all my energy today. Guys, I'm just replacing your headstones with crosses because apparently we're all Christian here. Like, I have seven. I have a seven quality graveyard. Yes. Oh. Okay, bedtime again. I swear, I take- I, I sleep three times a day. But that's okay. Three times a day is acceptable sometimes.
But now that I've read the tutorial for how graves work and how the red skulls and the white skulls work, and now I think I'll get better at burying people. <laughs> Today is Guy Day, so it's time to go see the Inquisitor. We'll only put eight down to begin with. Because, why not? Right? Oh, I need to research things in my head. That's how research works. Actually, uh, I need that. Gonna need that. I'm also probably gonna need that. Um, that. I can now extract skulls, bones, and skin. Let's go see the Inquisitor. What does the Inquisitor want? Eventually I'll I'll have a fast food stand at the witch burnings. Ah, oh, Keeper, I enjoy the air here. There's something righteous in it. Hmm. It's good to know that we'll soon be burning another witch here. We're still torturing her. Nice. Thank you for letting me know. But forgiveness is worth it. This time the burning should go perfect. We need to prove that no witch can escape our righteousness. We need to make some preparations here, which I'm going to help apparently. I need, they need some firewood and flyers. Well, I could give you the firewood, but I do not have flyers because I don't have paper. Because I don't have access to the church yet. But I will in two days. In which case I'll be able to finally make cremate people. Yes. Bear bees. Edible mushrooms. More edible mushrooms. I have those things. Four, four, and two. there hi smash thanks for popping in good luck at work <laughs> I'm 
just... I'm just here. I can rotate it. It's going right there. In. Rotate it! Rotate it! Um... <laughs> the music here is actually like really chill for such um kind of gruesome game not gonna lie Two more days until I can unlock the church. Again, because this is a new save. It is going much quicker than the other save. Not gonna lie, because, uh... I know what I'm doing now. Some- somewhat. <laughs> I'm still encountering tutorials that I didn't find before. Okay, I have little enough energy, I'm just going to bed. <laughs> Maybe I should uh, go get some iron supplements at one of our friends. It is moon day, which means the astrologers in town, which means I need to take the day trip to the lighthouse. I cannot wait until I get something that helps me teleport there. I'm sure there's a thing. Because this is an awfully long walk. Awfully long. Are you the astrologer? Uh, I am pretty happy. <laughs> I'm looking after the graveyard, yes. Uh, he wants a skull. Okay, astrologer, I will bring you a skull. Okay. I guess I will take a skull off that dead body that's sitting in my morgue. Waiting to be cremated, to be honest.
There we go. I would like to mine, not to pick flowers. The flowers are pretty, but I would like to mine. I could buy eggs from here if I wanted them. I don't really need them though. Or feathers. Though the feather is undeniably probably cheaper than <laughs> Lady Longlegs. Thank you. I hope you're having a great day too. Uh so far it's pretty good. I got I treated myself to a Starbucks refresher, and now I'm playing a game that I've been obsessed with for like the last week. But this is a new save, so it is going remarkably faster than the originals. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Oh, good, good. What's going on in your life, Lady Longlegs? If you want to share, you don't have to. If you don't want to. Uh, just. I like to talk to people. What was I doing? You've you've been playing Graveyard Keeper? Yeah? <laughs> when your daughter lets you. Uh, yeah? Kids kids need a lot of attention sometimes, but they're cute, so it's okay. Ooh, which DLC did you get? I have both of them. So I don't I've never I haven't completed any of them, but all of them? Alright. Me too. Uh not gonna lie. Like I kinda like all of the things that they bring. The communist donkey. I was really confused at first. But it's it's just like I love it. You only had it on your switch. I wasn't trying to get in the clay hole. Uh yeah, I think on on Steam the DL the most recent Game of Crone. DC DLC uh it came out in, like October but that was like on Steam <laughs> it's on Xbox too Ooh, you know I think if I like this enough to play it multiple times after I beat it I might buy it on a different platform October or November yeah. I don't know. I've had this game on my wish list for a while and I uh eventually it, it went on sale. Like it's on sale right now, so I was like, okay, I guess I'm gonna buy it. Uh oh really? Huh. That's that's unfortunate. Um, I know a lot of times it gets delayed for consoles because it's like completely different to program it or something technical. Uh, but it's been like six months since. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, yes, PC is better, like logically, but it's also not super portable unless you have a laptop. Not that I do a lot of traveling. Not that anyone really does a lot of traveling right now. So I don't know why portability really matters at this point. Ooh, a gaming laptop. Nice. I, uh... I've been thinking about getting one, but, like, I don't do enough traveling. Um, so... Having a laptop isn't necessary. It's Sunday. It's Sunday. It means the bishop's here. I'm gonna talk to him. I'm gonna get the church opened. 
I fix the graveyard? Oh, right, I forgot. Sermon. I'm speaking the words. The words. Whatever I want. <laughs> Faith is power. Okay, um, I'll start praying then. Uh... It's helpful for you to go room to room with your daughter. That's that's fair. Uh, I am like I live alone right now, but I have a friend who's who gets on video call with me, and she has a cat. And all I can imagine is if you have a small child, they probably behave like the cat and just like they're like pay attention to me. You have to follow me. You have to do things. Uh. One of the keepers was engaged in scientific research. Aha! Uh Haha, -huh. uh -huh. no, I'm not throwing all of that out. <laughs> the air is so dry. You're so prissy, Bishop. So prissy. <sighs> Let's go downstairs, because I want to go downstairs. Okay. Uh. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Is your daughter like little or like independent ish i guess <laughs> okay can't do that don't want that or oh four is four is an hilarious hilarious age they just say whatever comes to mind what absolutely whatever um <laughs> um hmm. it's it's been like a couple years since I've been around a kid because you know like pandemic but <laughs> she asked you why the guy next door is fat I mean that that's a valid question if you don't know you know oh no i need to keep that put that down there um <laughs> that is fair it is a little Rude, we'll say. From head of Royal Treasury Department, congratulations on reopening the church in the graveyard. I'm now a subject of royal law because I wasn't before. Um, on ground structures of the property of the Holy Church. However, all surface land and buildings set, see set no deeper than one royal leap or royal spit, as dictated by the ancient contract belong to the royal family and the town. I want to know how far that is. Like, cool. Ah. Uh, okay. I need to research cream cremation. There we go. Uh, what else will I need? We'll go with that one first. And 
Writing. Journalist. That. Tools are good too. I can create flyer. I need that for a quest. Okay. Oh. That that is a little that that's a little bit on the heavier side, yes. Um, why did I yes. Okay. Nails. I need eight nails. Okay. Um I haven't beaten the game either. <laughs> um, I literally only started playing this weekend and that was in a different save file. It took me six hours to figure out how to get water out of a bucket. So, um, I did get struck by lightning once trying to go to the town. Uh, what was I doing? <laughs> no, it's definitely funny. Uh, I also missed part of the tutorial that I found this playthrough and I was like, oh, that makes everything make so much more sense. It was the ghost one who was like, dig up that person and then, you know, then told me about how the, the red and white skills worked and I was like, oh, really? Oh, okay. Oh, <gasps> yes. No, that works better, I think. No. Oh. <gasps> Clean paper. Oh. Ah, frick. I forgot I haven't cleaned out these spaces yet. I should clean out everything. Uh. What was I doing? I don't know what I was doing. Putting. Okay. Oh, I can probably I can probably burn somebody now. I researched cremation. I need all of these. Yes. And then I should probably go cut down more trees. I am single-handedly causing deforestation in this area. Oh, gosh. Oh, now the donkey's gonna become a communist. Which, don't get me wrong, it's hilarious, but... I'll, I'll take some skin. I'm already gonna burn you, so... Um... Cute, cute, cute. Yes, there we go. And then that'll burn. And then tomorrow's the day that the lady's in the tavern. But I don't really care about her, to be honest. Not yet. She just kind of tells me to go away. This is going to take more time than it's worth. I just really don't want to have to walk all the way back here. <laughs> oh, 
thank you thank you for following lady long legs um i'll be playing this on wednesdays around this time so uh hope you have a nice day have fun playing this and i went past my wood pile uh gosh darn it okay um oh And here we go again. Oh. Okay, there we go. So many. Okay. Sleep time it is. It's dawn. Oh. Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name's Kieran, and currently I'm playing Graveyard Keeper. Which there's a guy in my house. There is a guy in my house. <laughs> In the game, not in real life. Thank goodness. Um, you're not a thief. Why are you just in my house? You could have waited until dawn and waited outside. Uh, have have has he ever been in prison? Yeah. How do you know? Yes, we escaped from prison three days ago. Uh, excuse me. Repeat offender. You're a marquee. You couldn't possibly be a thief. Thief and Marquis are not exclusive. They're not mutually exclusive. I, the Marquis Teodoro Jr., along with my friends, were sentenced to the Inquisition. Sentenced by the Inquisition to the fire. But they're not heretics. Someone vile slander. Okay. But. But aren't you? What if the Inquisitions are the good guys? They're not. They burn people. I burn bodies, but they burn living people. Am no, I don't want to have to walk all the way back. You have neither experience nor skills for living in such conditions. Well, now's the time to learn, I suppose. I want to know how you got money. Master Alaric, the former Inquisitor who helped us escape. You know... You know... Graveyard Keeper, what an honor to meet you. Speak louder, his hearing is quite poor. But I haven't done any much louder. He's almost deaf. This is when- and this is when we need to invent sign language. I'm sure sign language is. Would you let us talk in private? Even though, you know, we have to yell so that I can hear. Oh. <laughs> Uh, he knows, he knows about the guy, about the guy with the red eye. Oh. I completely forgot about this guy in my other playthrough. I should go visit him. Oh, right. I have to talk to you t so that you can tell me what you want. Okay. Oh, 
I, let's just go back in here. Oh, okay. He has nothing to say to me, okay? If he has nothing to say to me, he has nothing to say to me. All right. Okay. Ooh, bees. Bees and berries. Any more bees? Bees? Question mark. Well, since I'm already up here, I'm gonna... Mine, mine, mine. Oh. Well, no I'm not. <laughs> uh, the rusty pickaxe said, no you're not. <laughs> Excuse me, I need a rest. Just because you sleep twice a day doesn't mean that I get any sleep. <laughs> I ain't gonna get no sleep. Y'all, you ain't gonna get no sleep out of me. Me. I built I built the trunk for here for seeds and stuffs. Donkey, are you gonna bring a body? Oh wait, no donkey's gonna be a butt about it. He's gonna like request five carrots and some oil because he's a communist and that's what communists require to sustain themselves oh I can go get my burial suit I need to make notes <laughs> never mind I can't make notes yet I have or rather <laughs> I don't have the technology to make notes from um, pig skin which I learned courtesy to one of my friends is that um, human human meat is often called long pig or it was in like older times what was I doing right getting our burial certificate uh so that's why when you uh harvest skin from a dead body that's that's why it's uh called pig skin right one four eight okay i can do that i think We're gonna build a bridge. We're not building walls, we're building a bridge. Also, I don't know where those of you watching are from, but 
Tennessee has recently passed some legislation that is very bad. I encourage you to look it up if it's something you're interested in. I won't go into detail because um, that's not what people are here for, which is fair. It's not what I'm here for. Um, but it pissed me off royally yesterday. So it's called the Slate of Hate if you need something to look up. It is now dawn, it's time to go to bed. That's how I picture some people treat their lives. It's it's dawn, oh, bedtime. It's merchant day. I'm going to sleep. Oh. <laughs> All right, after I wake up, I think I'm gonna head out for the day. So thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, and hope you had a good time. I enjoyed this game. If you like what you're seeing, you should go enjoy the day. <laughs> it's dawn, bedtime. Sounds like you in college, Smash. <laughs> Yeah, I did that a few times myself. It wasn't super fun. But, you know. Uh, see y'all later!